and welcome back to Something Better Ministry. And today we're back in the kitchen and we are going to be making a very simple herbal salad. God has given us a plan on how we should maintain our health. And if you have not seen the video yet on God's plan for Israel, you can check that out on our um, YouTube channel. But today we're going to show how you can, in addition to following the eight laws of health which governs our bodies, you can assist nature basically assist your body in recovering from many conditions. And so today we're going to be making a very simple herbal salve right here in the kitchen. So let's go ahead and do it. I just want to show you all our own home apothecary. And so as a medical missionary, as well as a master herbalist, it's very important for us to have in our home and on our property, the herbs that we need in the event that someone needs it. And so today we're going to learn how to make what is called herbal medicine or herbal preparation, a very simple one. And so we have a variety of herbs that we grow or we purchase. And so we use them for various things. And it's important for you to become intelligent, a little knowledgeable on how to use herbs appropriately. We have another video on our channel on how to make an infusion and a decoction. And if you have not seen that video, you can go ahead and check that out as well. And even how to identify red raspberry leaves and how to dry them. So you can learn um, these methods. They're very simple. On plant identification, you can purchase books or watch videos. And there's even different apps that are available to help you to identify herbs. And then you can just learn how you can incorporate that into your everyday living. So to make a very simple herbal salve, we're going to use um, some dried herbs. And today we're going to use calendula, which is called calendula officinalis. And so this herb is an emollient. It's very good for the skin and it has both antifungal and antimicrobial properties. And so it makes a very nice salve that is very um, gentle, very lovely for the skin overall. And it's so simple. You would need a container. Here we have a glass jar with a lid and we have some um, extra virgin olive oil which we would use to add into the jar with the herb. And what I normally do is I take some um, alcohol and just spray the jar to um, just help with making it um, to kind of like make sure it's very clean before you put your herbs in there. And then you just basically take your herbs and you want to fill the herbs. If we're using dry herb, you want to fill the jar that you have about one third of the way when it's a dry herb. If you're using a fresh herb, then you would fill it about half the way. So we are at about a third of the jar with the calendula and then we will simply take now the olive oil and we will fill the jar to the top okay so then the next thing that we would do is we will cover the jar and then you want to shake the jar to allow for the olive oil to go through the entire jar, get in every part of the plant. A very important step that I need to do, and I'll just show you very quickly, is that you need to label. And so you want to put the date. On your jar, as well as what is in it. So today's date, I'll put there. And we have calendula flower with extra virgin olive oil. And even the olive oil in itself is very good for the skin and it has its own properties which help for the purpose of healing. And so you wanna place this, um, you can place it on your countertop and you can just shake it um, at least once or twice every day and let it sit for about a week, allowing for the herbs to infuse into the olive oil. And then what you have is an infused oil. The next step is after you have your oil that has been infused for about one to two weeks, 
you will take the infused oil and I have a different oil here that I'm going to be using to make um, my salve today. But if you want to use the, um, if you had begun with the calendula, you would just, after the two weeks, you will strain that. And then you have the oil. You can discard the remaining um, of the dry herbs. And then you have the oil. This is what I have here. I have in this jar just oil. I have already discarded the herbs that was in it. You would also need to make a salve. You would need a scale. You don't have to, but it's best if you do. And then you need a container to put your salve in. And you would need um, a glass jar with a pot to do a double boiler method. And most importantly, you would need some beeswax. And so you can also add into it some essential oils if you want to make it scented and add other um, medicinal properties to your salve. So the first thing that I will do is I will turn on the stove with a double boiler and I weighed out already half an ounce of beeswax. So I'm going to place the half ounce of beeswax on the stove and when that is just about melted, I'm going to then add into it 3.5 ounces of my infused herbal oil. And so once I have the oil in there, I'm going to stir it up to incorporate it into the beeswax. And then once it's fully melted down, then I will pour it into the container. And so it's that simple. And so we'll give it some time for the beeswax to melt down. It takes a little time. But once it's just about fully melted, then I'm going to add the infused oil and stir it up. So now I'm stirring the infused oil with the beeswax so that they can incorporate together. And so you would take your oil of choice that you had chosen, whatever herb um, suits you the best. And you just incorporate them. And if you take a look, you can see that they are... There's still a little bit more wax to melt, but it's coming along. You want to avoid too much heat because you do not want to destroy the properties or the constituents of the herb that is in your infused oil. So you don't want it to get too hot. You don't want to form any bubbles. You don't want to destroy it. So we're almost fully melted. So here we see that the herbs are incorporated. Um, in the oil, we have actually the um, beeswax that has melted with the infused oil, is what I meant to say. And so we can take that off the stove actually. And beeswax gets moved kind of quickly because once it starts to cool down, you will quickly see it set. So I am going to Add into it a little lavender essential oil. I really like the smell of lavender. And lavender is also very good for the skin. And um, it is said to be also good for burns as well. So I'm going to add a few drops. And I like the smell of lemongrass. So I'm going to add just a few drops of that as well. So we're adding some lemongrass essential oil. And then I'm going to just top it off with just a little of some lion essential oil. And so we just give it a little stir. You can also add in here, if you'd like, clays. Just a little bit if you want to give it a, a different color. Otherwise, this would be a green salve because of the herb that was in it. You can have a yellow salad if you use um, the one that came from the calendula. The final step now is to simply pour your liquid into a jar. And then you will allow for it to set. And once it sets, you will have your infused oil with the beeswax which creates a very simple and wonderful herbal salve and so you want to make sure that you label the date as well as what is in there 
and so you know exactly what you have and then you can also get these um small containers um i get them in stainless steel not in aluminum aluminum should not be used at all when using herbs and you can um place them in there if you want to carry it to go and just so you know if you are interested in purchasing salves if you do not want to make them at home you can check out um simply better living um simplybettersoaps.com is the correct name simplybettersoaps.com where you can find different um herbal salves there as well as um herbal oils as well as soaps so if you do not have any beeswax though to make a salve once you have your infused oil you can place the oil in a jar and you can just use the infused oil in your skin but if you want to make it into a salve where you would rub it in um, kind of like an ointment then you need to add the beeswax to it incorporate it together and then place it into your container and then you'd have your um your herbal salve so i hope that this was helpful and i hope you saw that it is very simple and that you can do it there are many things to learn when living in the country and one thing is not only to be in nature and learn more about God and develop the character that he wants you to develop, but he wants us to be self-sustainable and he wants us to learn how to use the things that he has given to us for our benefits. And so I hope that you will be able to make your own simple herbal salve and that you and your family will benefit from it. Thank you for joining. God bless.